So in this quick tutorial, I want to explain one limitation that the OSL texture has and how to avoid it. So in here we have a building corner with two facades in different directions. So let's start and add a simple plane. I'm gonna turn on the auto grid and let's add one plane here. We can convert it to editable poly. And let's add another one here. And at the second floor. Now let's add a shader box texture. Let's move it inside the building. And as you can see, everything is working correctly. Now if I want to populate the other facade using the same object, let's try it out. So I'm gonna select all the polygons, copy it and rotate 90 degrees. And let's have a look. Now you can see we have a problem with the texture mapping. So in order to avoid this kind of situation, what we need to do is first let's delete these polygons. And we need to start with a fresh plane, which will be oriented to the new facade. And we can do the same process as before. So now let's add the material. And now we have proper UV mapping. So in conclusion, each facade needs to have its own plane objects in order to get the proper textual mapping. 